so dear all welcome the topic which we are going to discuss today is about uh, schrodinger's wave equation and we are going to derive schrodinger's time independent and time dependent wave equation so let us start the derivation part with uh, schrodinger's time dependent wave equation for that we consider a particle which should behave as a wave only in motion and hence it should be accelerated by a potential capital v so this total energy capital e is given as potential energy capital v plus kinetic energy which is given as capital v plus half mv square where small m is the mass and small v is the velocity of the particle now multiply and divide by the mass m in the above equation we get capital v plus half m square v square by m and we have studied in a lower class momentum p is given as the product of mass and velocity which is m v so we rewrite the above equation for uh, this term m square v square which is given as p square so we have capital e is equal to which means the total energy is given as capital v plus half p square by m now for the above equation we apply a wave function which is psi and uh, we get we get the equation as e psi is equal to v psi plus half p square by m psi so we have applied the wave function psi for all the terms so uh, this equation equation 1 is what we have to derive for example the total energy e psi is, is given as potential energy term that is v psi plus the kinetic energy term p square psi so we need to find what is p square psi and we need to find what is v psi and we have to substitute in equation number one and that gives you Schrodinger's time dependent wave equation fine so we will start the equation equation now so in quantum mechanics the wave function psi of a moving particle with respect to time is given as psi of x comma y comma z comma t that is 3 x y z is the coordinates and t is time is given as capital a e power minus 2 pi i divided by h into e t minus p x where a is given as amplitude t is time and e is energy and p is momentum so this equation number 2 can be written as a e power minus i by h cross into e t minus p x where h cross is given as h by 2 pi we have a term h by 2 pi so that can be written as h cross that this will be uh, we label as ma equation number 3 now we, equation number 3 should be differentiated with respect to the uh, term x so do psi by do x with respect to x we have x co coefficient that is uh, i h cross i p by h cross this is the coefficient term of x term so do psi by do x is equal to a e power minus i by h cross into e t minus p x into the coefficient of x term that is i p by h cross so now the above equation again we differentiate with respect to x so we have do square psi by do x square is equal to a e power minus i by h cross e t minus p x into this term will become doubles i mean uh, i square p square divided by h, h cross square so this uh, this term is nothing but the equation number 3 right so from equation number 3 we can rewrite this above term as dou square psi by dou x square into this term can be written as psi because we have a term psi when we have this similar term and the psi into minus 1 because i square is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 p square by h cross square so thereby we can rewrite the equation in a simplified format that is p square psi is equal to minus h cross square dou square psi by dou x square so this we have found finally we have found the p square psi term now next we need to find the v psi term so that to substitute in the equation number one so for that 
we differentiate this equation number 3 once again with respect to time t we have a time here and uh, uh, with respect to t term we differentiate the equation once again so dou psi by dou t with respect to time t is given as a e power minus i by h cross e t minus p x into the coefficient of t terms that is uh, minus i e by h cross and uh, this the middle term once again we, we can rewrite it as uh, psi we, from equation number 3 dou psi by dou t is equal to psi of minus e i by h cross we can simplify the equation we need because we need uh, e psi so e psi is equal to h by minus i dou psi by dou t or we can multiply and divide by the factor i term finally we get e psi is equal to i divided by minus i into i h cross dou psi by dou t so uh, we have uh, i square is equal to minus 1 and uh, we simplify the equation with uh, uh, 1 and uh, thereby finally we get e psi that is equal to i h cross dou psi by dou t this will be equation number 4 now we have e psi term and we have p square psi term using this p square psi term and e psi term we have to substitute in equation number 1 so that to find the time independent wave equation so let us substitute this equation with 3 and 4 in equation number 1 so uh, equation 1 we have uh, st uh, studied as e psi is equal to v psi plus p square psi so we need to substitute p square psi term and e psi term in this equation so let us start the substitution term so this can be written as i h cross dou psi by dou t that is e psi term is equal to v psi minus h cross square by 2m into dou square psi by dou x square so uh, we take the uh, psi term outside the bracket so we have uh, the above equation which means the psi term we are taking taking out outside the bracket as a common term and we have this equation like this and uh, then we this we are going to write it rewrite in the three-dimensional form as you can see we have written this equation only in terms of x coordinates so the same equation in three-dimensional form with respect to x comma y comma z coordinates can be written as i h cross into dou psi by dou, dou, dou by dou t psi is equal to v minus h cross square by 2m into dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square into psi so as you can see this this term has been rewritten in the th in the three dimensional form with respect to x y and, and z coordinates now once again to make it very simple so we can rewrite this term as uh, capital V minus h cross square by 2m into del square where del square is given as the constant term that is dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square plus dou square by dou z square so this equation phi is called Schrodinger's wave equation that is time dependent wave equation I hope uh, you all uh, feeling very easy to, uh, to follow and once again we have a small term and to make it more simple for this uh, equation number 5 this can be written as e psi is equal to capital H psi where this term I mean the coefficient of the psi term in left side is given as the energy operator capital E that is equal to i h cross dou psi by dou t from here and similarly capital H is uh, another uh, Hamiltonian operator that is given as capital V minus h cross square by 2m into del square so this is about Schrodinger's wave equation time in time dependent now let us derive the Schrodinger's time independent wave equation so the wave function for time dependent wave equation we have considered is psi x of psi x y z t is equal to a e power minus i by h cross e t by p x 
et minus px now in the uh, in the above equation we uh, cross multiply this with the uh, we just take out from the common term we can read it as a e power minus i e t by h cross into e power minus i p x by h cross so this term can be rewritten as uh, uh, psi and that gives you psi of x comma y comma z comma t is equal to psi into a e power minus i e t by h cross so this will gives you the wave function of time independent wave equation now using this equation that we can term it as equation number one using this equation we differentiate with respect to x obviously there is no x term in right side so we do partial differentiation equation that gives you dou psi by dou x is equal to a e power minus i e t by h cross by by h cross into dou psi by dou x once again we differentiate the equation with respect to x again so dou square psi by dou x square is equal to a e power minus i e t by h cross into dou square psi by dou x square this will be equation number two and uh, again we differentiate this equation number one with respect to the time t term so we have a coefficient that is uh, i e by h cross so we differentiate with respect to uh, time dou psi by dou t is equal to a psi e power minus i e t by h cross into minus e by h cross so this will be equation number three so we have the revised dou square psi by dou x square and uh, dou psi by dou t this two equation that is equation two and three has to be substituted in schrodinger's time dependent equation so in the in the previous section we have uh, derived what is the schrodinger's time dependent equation in this uh, schrodinger's time dependent equation we have to rewrite or update the dou square psi by dou x square and dou psi by dou t whatever we have found uh, found from here equation number two and three so once it's done the Schrodinger's independent wave equation will be derived. So let us start substituting this uh, terms for dou psi by dou t and dou square psi by dou x square. So uh, we, uh, we when we substitute this dou psi by dou t will be over here and dou square psi by dou x square will be over here. We get a lengthy equation and once again we have a term psi over here that uh, that is the equation number one. that is equation number one that is uh, psi is given as psi of psi into a e power minus i e t by h cross that is, for, that is from equation number one so once again we substitute this psi also in the above equation we get a very lengthy equation and uh, there is some common term that is uh, uh, a e power minus i e t by h cross which gets cancelled out so we have this term in all the three terms uh, left side and right side that gets that gets trans uh, cancels out and we get a simplified equation that is i h cross into minus i e by h cross into psi that is equal to v psi minus h cross square divided by 2m into dou square psi by dou x square so this we get ma, ma, i is there uh, again i here we have which is uh, i square into h cross h cross into e by psi E, e by h cross into psi is equal to v psi minus h cross square by 2m into dou square psi by dou x square so this can be written uh, uh, as uh, since i square minus i square is equal to 1 we can read it in a simply a simplified version that is e psi is equal to v psi minus h cross square by 2m into dou square psi by dou x square so finally we have e psi minus v psi that is equal to minus h cross square by 2m into dou square psi by dou x square or in other terms dou square psi by dou x square this term is equal to minus 2m by h cross square into e psi minus v psi 
so this can be written once again when we take the psi term common outside the bracket that is dou square psi by dou x square plus 2m by h cross square into e minus v psi is equal to 0 so this equation is a one dimensional form of Schrodinger's wave equation that is time independent so uh, we have a one dimensional form of Schrodinger's time independent wave equation so that is uh, uh, dou square psi by dou x square plus 2m by h cross square into e minus v psi is equal to 0 so to make it in a three dimensional form so we just have to add the x y and z coordinates so that is uh, uh, we just add with the same ter this term this possible term with respect to x y and z coordinates so we have a lengthy equation like dou square psi by dou x square plus dou square psi by dou y square plus dou square psi by dou z square plus 2m by h cross square into e minus v psi is equal to 0 so this term we can take a del again we can refine with the term operator del so uh, when we have a del square is equal to uh, this particular term so if you consider in that uh, uh, del operator term then uh, we have del square psi plus 2m by h cross square into e minus v psi is equal to 0 so this will gives you three dimensional form of Schrodinger's wave equation that is time independent So thank you all. I hope uh, it is much easy to follow the Schrodinger's wave equation for your exams. All the best.